Greetings, dear friends. Happy Monday to you. I hope you had a lovely Easter weekend. We're here with our, my letting go card to do our weekly check-in to see what can we focus on letting go of this week, this week of April. So how's the energy been for you? How are you dealing with all of these changing different times that we're in? I, I'm happy to say that I'm a lot more relaxed than I was last week because the water stopped coming into my basement. So if you watched last week, I think I might have mentioned to you that I had a flooding basement. Thank you to spring runoff, which happened fairly quickly here. Anyways, like I said, just checking in to see what can we let, focus on letting go of. Now, the thing about letting go, letting go is about being aware of what you're holding on to, then also being aware of how that ripples out. What does it, how does it affect your life? Is there a limitation? Is there some place? Hi, Ruthann. Happy Easter. Nice to see you. Hope you had a lovely weekend too. So I'm just talking about this idea of letting go. So, so the first piece is to, to be aware of holding on to something, whether that's like a belief or a mindset or an idea. And then letting go is all about doing what you need to. So sometimes it's just enough to have the awareness of something. I can do that sometimes. It's like if I, if I just become aware of something that's blocking or stopping, then just being aware stops it. Other times we have to dive a wee bit deeper. Good morning, Sheena. Nice to see you here too. So other times we have to go a wee bit deeper and sort of peel layers. And so we might need to journal it or speak it out or reach out to somebody like Moira and say, help, I need to have a wee bit of a sounding board or a wee bit of a conversation around something. So it's always about uh, being aware, but then also coming back to your own wisdom because your wisdom will guide you. And so the, that's the other aspect of this whole letting go idea is to peel off the layers that may be sort of deafening or dumbing down the access that you have to, to all the answers. All the answers that you're looking for are there within you. So all that being said, I didn't know we were going to go that deep and, and big on, on our letting go session this week, but there you have it. So take a nice deep breath. Land into this moment and just clear out any any anything that's going any anxiousness any what ifs or any sense of going off into the future just let that go and come back to it later and in your mind we're just forming a question what can i let go of what is there what's the the best thing for me to focus on letting go of this week this second week of april or is it the third week we're all sort of losing a wee bit of sense of time right now, aren't we? So, oh, this is an interesting one. This is a good one for this week. Guess what we're going to work on? Work on letting go of loneliness. That's that. So, like I say, I'm saying that that's a really good one, but uh, think about that. I know that there's a lot of people who are uh, alone. Take, be, being alone, being isolated, self-quarantined, things of that nature. So here's the thing. You are never alone. You know what? Yesterday I was I took part of a, in a group healing session. And it was so amazing that we were as a whole group that I'm a part of where we were doing healing. Well, it felt really crowded and busy in my office because energetically we can connect. And so rather than focusing on physically being isolated or away from other people, just go within you. Close your eyes, put your hand over your heart. You know that I'm a big believer on connecting with that heart energy. And you can always tap in. You can always tap in energetically. And so that is one of the best ways that I know to help refocus. Focus on what can you do? How can you connect? And of course, the beauty of our uh, isolation times is that we are all connected. Look at Facebook, look at FaceTime, look at Zoom. There's so many amazing ways that we can connect with one another. Okay, sure, you can't physically give a hug. Then if that's the case, then hug yourself. 
just give yourself a hug. So let me read this out to you. See how that lands for you. Are you feeling a wee bit lonely or, re, you know, restricted from, from connecting with people? And if so, see if there's things that you can do like that, like I'm suggesting to you. So this card has come up for you today to encourage you that loneliness is no big deal. Truth is, we all get lonely sometimes. It's just a part of life. Our only job is to recognize it, name it, lean into it, and then let it go. Sometimes letting loneliness go will require you to sit in it, sit in the feeling long enough to allow yourself to get to a place where you're willing to try just about anything. Like I said, reaching out, doing a virtual gathering, doing some kind of meditation, right? To get through it, to trying to get to do anything to get through it. In that space, you can find a spiritual energy that will help shift you to the next step. At times, we need to just train our chattering monkey mind not to wallow in the loneliness. Whenever the obsessing starts, we can literally say to ourselves, let it go, let go. So work with that one. Let me know how that goes. See, see how you can, can you allow yourself to feel into that spiritual energy that I just mentioned. It's there for all of us, should we choose to lean into it or open ourselves up to it. And to be honest with you, these times I'm finding is a, a, a massive gift to us to actually maybe create some new ways of connecting and, and checking in with ourselves. So as I'm saying that, I'm shuffling the tarot cards here. I'm going to pull one tarot card and then I'll pull three of the angel cards. That's what we like to do for this session. So let's see what the tarot has to say to help support us or get more clarity on letting go of loneliness. So this is great. The card that's come up is the Knight of Swords. And you got to see my, my virgin nails uh, showing you that card. So Knight of Swords. This is about taking action, moving forward. So, you know, I just read out that the, the uh, intel on the loneliness card. It's to just feel it and then get up and do something. So feel it, acknowledge it. I'm feeling this. Any kind of emotion is important to just say, this is what I'm feeling. And then if it's not that comfortable, feel it, acknowledge it, honor it, have some gratitude, and then go do something. So... The, the Knight of Swords, because it's swords, that's very much to do with thinking, right? So watch your thoughts. Are you, sometimes when we get into to feelings that we don't really like or we don't want to hold on to, we kind of can sometimes get into uh, running away from them and, and making conversations or, or getting into maybe even a bit of pity party inside. And if that's happening, that's okay. Just Just acknowledge it, be with it. Take a deep breath. The next breath is the next stage of that. You can move through it, right? So Knight of Swords is very much about aligning with thoughts that feel in alignment with who you are, with what you want to create, with what you want to feel. But it's actually about the doing. So get up out your chair, do some stretches, do some movements, just or go pick an oracle card, something like that. Just shift the energy. And you'll find that once you shift your energy, your entire aspect shifts too, right? You, you change your energy, you start seeing things in a completely different way. So that being said, now I'm pulling our three angel cards from Dorian Virtue's angel cards to see what guidance is going to come up for us with that. So this is excellent. Oh my goodness, I couldn't have... You just saw me drew, drew the, draw these randomly but check this out so the first card is self-acceptance so that's what i'm saying if you feel lonely or if you have a, an emotion that, that's a little bit off or or troubled or anxious just accept it you can't change any of it until you just say this is what's happening this is what's happening for me and then look at the next card the next card is surrender and release so do things about the things that you can, right? So I said to you about if you're feeling lonely, you can see, can you, you lean into the support, energetic support or spiritual force around you? 
and let go of the stuff that's not for you to resolve. And guess what that brings about? Is harmony. So isn't that perfect? So letting go of their loneliness and, and, and to be honest with you, too, it really feels like letting go of anything that's maybe making you feel weighted down or feel questioning or feeling anxious or feeling anything that's not allowing you to be in at your best, in your best energy. So it's to accept self-acceptance then surrender and release. You let go of anything that's not for you to work out and that allows you to create harmony in your best way. I hope that that helps you and I hope it makes sense. Let me know if you need any more guidance or clarity on that. I wish you a wonderful week and I'll be checking in again with you next week. Much love. Thanks for watching.